um cool cool all right um yeah i guess we can um go into into star wars news because there is a report um alleged report that the ray movie has a title and that that movie starts filming uh pretty soon so star wars episode 10 a new beginning supposed to be the title for the movie um a new beginning sounds like a cop out (laughs) it's it should have been something more interesting uh it should have been like new jedi order or something cooler right um i think a new beginning if if they're setting this movie was like 10 years after yeah uh, episode nine um which I guess time wise is fine, right? If you if you do it like that, but there 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 should be there should be something more interesting. It's again like the Mandalorian and Grogu. It's like fine, right? We know who they are, and they're getting a movie, but why why that title, right? Um, I, I guess that like thinking about it, they probably don't want to confuse the audience at least on that one but on this one they they should have probably come up with something uh, more creative if you ask me uh that being said um yeah it's we'll, we'll have to wait and see but uh joel when was this movie supposed to be starting uh filming i think it's supposed to start filming next year okay i think it's next year got gotcha. you very interesting um, but yeah what do you I, think yeah I, I i have a lot of thoughts i don't want to be negative right away about it because i'm i'm totally fine with this movie being made there's just certain things about it that i don't want one of them being is i don't want it to be an episodic film like them basically saying the star Wars episode 10 if that's true hmm. i don't want that they're, they're forcing down the throats of people the whole that it's a continuation of the Skywalker saga. So okay. the these Skywalker films being, you know, episodic films essentially. And I think people have said we want to kind of get away from that, um, for multiple reasons. Even people who, you know, love the originals and stuff like that. Um, and people who also just felt like she just called herself a Skywalker because she can and it's like you're not really the family. So it almost feels like one of those again kind of forcing that into the whole narrative. I don't like that it's an episodic like episode ten just don't want that to be the case. So that's one of the first things that, that I would say. And then the other part of it too is like, if you are making this one, the episodic films, those films need to be truly epics. Like those are the films that you pour a boatload of money into and time and resources. You know, like I remember when The Force Awakens was first being announced and the amount of the photos of, of JJ and George sitting together and talking for long periods of time. And, and that the, the we all know how it ended in the end, right? How how we feel about it. Yeah. But like there was a <clears throat> feeling at that time you can't shake that's like they really are are like saying like this is a huge deal. This just doesn't feel like a huge deal in that kind of way. This doesn't feel like right now like this this magical deep dive. And when you have yeah. the the person who's creating this making comments that almost makes you feel like, you know, what was is is not that great, but it's for a very particular reason that can be proven to be factually wrong, what was said, but that's okay. Um, You know, like, that's just not the kind of narrative I want around this film. I want this film to still be made, but I want to be made on its own merit, not because it's an episodic film, not because it's trying to prove anything, but purely because it's like, hey, this is just the, the actual movie that we're making. This is just the actual... Uh, a story that that we're trying to tell about Ray and let it just be a Ray movie or Ray trilogy and let it live on its own, not because it has to be compared to episodic films, not because it has to be part of the Skywalker saga. It's just her films, and I'm okay with that. Right. So it needs to have that from me. But this is all rumors that that could be true, and they could take away Episode Ten from the title, and and we'll be fine. If you're listening to us right now, uh, Lucasfilm, Kathy, Kathleen, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, you got time. If this is true, you know, yeah, yeah. you can prove yeah. this to be wrong and we just right. talk hot air and it never happens. It's there's okay. No, there's no official title yet. You're still, there's still time. Visual. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I, I totally see where you're coming from, right? When, when those pictures of JJ and, and George and, 
and the cast reading the script and all that when that came out and even when force awakens came out um i think force awakens is definitely i mean it, the, the best out of the three right so yeah. so there was there was some effort made right they still stole us the the you know having the you know the the original crew back together in the falcon right that was they 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 stole that from us but um you know it just started falling apart with right? like the last jedi yeah like, narratively it's just and i i i i get it but you know and and then rise of skywalker just tried to bandage <laughs> the last jedi and uh, it just it just didn't it just didn't hit the mark right and unfortunately yeah. but you know they they gotta be they gotta be really car careful with this and F star wars is made by the fans right and and if they don't get the fans hyped um i don't think new new fans are not gonna be enough to get this going so yeah that, that's they gotta get thing. the they gotta get the ogs on board there's another generation that yeah. um i think appreciates this more like the original stuff there right and i i personally like you and i are of the same mindset like we are not um we don't have a certain level of, of anger and, and emotion towards those sequel films it just wasn't as magical for us as um, maybe we wanted it to be as special as we wanted because of how much we love Star Wars. Right. Um, and and there's some very clear, obvious things that could have made a fixer. But yeah, like like you're saying, you know, I don't know that that generation it's it's gonna you know it's supposed to be ten years out. The movie will come out probably less than ten years from uh, you had um, the last film that came out, and so it's kind of like you know I don't it kind of feels a little too soon maybe, but if it is gonna come out, maybe it'll surprise us all. I. I'll, I'll, I like Ray enough to to wanna you know see more of what they do with her character. I still I still feel like there are things that they can do that can even fix what came out before, uh, but it still doesn't change that those things still existed and still came out. And that's right. tough. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. We'll see, man. All right, Joe. So what's uh what's uh, happening over at Marvel, sir? There's uh. Rumors yeah. that there's uh, things, pieces moving. I know that there is a a, a new uh, chief of Disney Studios that doesn't really affect Marvel that much because uh, that's, uh, you know, Kevin's running the show. But what's going on, man? Yeah, I, I won't get too deep. There's one particular thing from this article that I want to talk about. But the Hollywood Reporter put out an exclusive about how quietly marvel the, the article the headline is how marvel's quietly retooling amid superhero fatigue um and that you know basically kevin feige quote unquote there says has said they're not going to give it up according to an insider and how they're really um on the inside having these conversations and admitting it for real that they know that there are problems and that feige is extremely committed to trying to solve it and i think i think he is the guy that can that can do it it's just it's going to take time. And so, yeah, like I'm talking about like an article, it reveals about all the reshoots that were done for the Agatha Coven of Chaos, which no, I don't want that series, guys. Why did you spend so much money to do this? <laughs> There's, I mean, literally hundreds of millions of dollars are being put into this project. I'm very concerned, but I digress. Um, And just talking about like, you know, obviously like the Fantastic Four is like a big deal, you know, part of this big plan of things just going on. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about just really quickly, we keep talking about titles. Let's keep that trend going. And the main one here that came out of there is that uh, Marvel internally has already decided they are going to be changing the title uh, of the next Avengers movie. It will not be called King Dynasty. It will be something else. And according to the insider, that was the plan even before the majors debacle um, because they saw the results at the box office from Quantum Mania. I don't believe that for a second. I don't think because of Ant Man they said we're going to change the the movie from King Dynasty. Um, I I don't buy that for a second. That sounds like the insider was fed information to make sure they keep them happy in the article. But that's just my opinion. I we know a little bit about uh, PR and marketing <laughs> a little bit, but you know, like it, it. I will say that when when it comes to um, them changing the title, I, that just is a bigger indication that there's a very strong chance King won't be in this movie, or if he is. Um, he's not the main uh, villain at all and that there's probably something else that they're changing out story-wise. 
Now, this is interesting because we all know Secret Wars is coming, and the idea was like, King will end one thing, and Secret Wars will kick off a whole nother thing. Does that mean that they're going to move Secret Wars to be sooner? Does that mean that they are, um, you know, going to push Secret Wars further out and then do some other major, like, Avengers versus X-Men coming out sooner or something? I don't right. know. But I think this can completely mean, if they're just changing the title alone, this can completely mean that there is no king and they just ended with what they did in Loki season two and call it a day. Right. So what are your thoughts on it, man? Yeah. Uh, you know, the, 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 the Kang thing that's been rumored for, you know, a few weeks now since, you know, uh, the, 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 dus- the judgment on, on Jonathan Majors happened. Yeah. So I, I could see them moving in that direction. I don't necessarily, I mean, based uh, on how they've acted in the past, they're probably not going to recast. Um, I, I think, and just to just to kind of put things in perspective, right? Um, Rhodey got recast because that wasn't Disney back then. <laughs> and that was sort of like Marvel Studios was operating uh, as, a, as, as their own thing. Right. Um, and I, you know, Fantastic Four is going to be really interesting because that's going to tell us where this is going. Um, I mean, Deadpool could definitely do that too. Um, but more than Deadpool, I think that the uh, Fantastic Four, I was going to call it Fan Four Stick. Um, no, 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 uh, I think Fantastic Four is going to be the the turning point. Like, this is going to turn us to whatever the next thing is. Whether, whether it be Doom, whether it be Galactus, you know, that's going to um, le- lead us in that direction. Um, there's rumors about people being cast as Doom or wanting to play Doom or, you know, there's, there's many different things, right? Where there's still nothing official. I don't know if you saw that uh, allegedly, like Henry Cavill has been cast for something, and yeah. but they haven't said anything yet. So, yeah. he could be Silver Surfer. He could be. He could be Cyclops. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like. Yeah. Um, so so we'll we'll have to wait and see. Um, but when it comes to the TV stuff, yeah, like they they've they just keep throwing stuff that. Like, hey, maybe maybe they'll like this thing, and and, and and a lot of the TV stuff seems like like thrown together at this point, and that is um, you know disappointing to say the least. So, for sure, if they cut back on that, you know, give us two movies a year, give us two series a year. That's all you need to do, right? So you don't need to go, you don't need to go a movie a month, like, or like a a movie every four months. It's like, give us two movies a year, give us two shows a year to kind of bridge those two things. Or they can even, I I don't think they should be introducing major stuff in, uh, in the TV series, unless it's a major character like Loki, right? He had the right to introduce and do that story that's, uh, you know, picking up in Deadpool. Uh, be- he just you know because the character deserved it, right? Um, or like in like Wanda, like Wanda, what they tried with right. like you know Wanda Vision, like they had a right to try and set up Doctor Strange and stuff like that because it of- it did. But to me, the most disappointing part, right, right, it, it, it set up Scarlet Witch and in, in, in uh, uh, Doctor Strange, but where the heck is White Vision, dude? It's like. So well, there's a lot of issues with that. Doctor Strange is the one that dropped the ball, not Wandavision. Wandavision right, set it up. Right, 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 right. That's it's more reverse, right. like it's I, earned. Yep, 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 yeah. I agree, I agree. Um, so uh, yeah, well, we'll we'll see. It's uh very this interesting. This year's one of them. This year's one of them where we get one Marvel film, one MCU film. Right. right. So this is a good example that we're talking about. Like, oh, give us two. Like this year we get one. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, we'll see.